All right, we're going to finish our discussion of Ozark's stereotypes and the origins of those stereotypes and, and all that kind of stuff. We talked about the Arkansas image, and we mentioned this earlier. We, we know that uh, Appalachian stereotypes, Ozark stereotypes, had all kinds of commonalities. They really, uh, in many ways, they were interchangeable type stereotypes. And in the, uh, in the late 1800s and early 1900s, you get this... Uh, explosion of literature about Appalachia. You get a, a limited number of books about the Ozarks as well, but there's just this, this whole subgenre of, of literature about Appalachia. Uh, some of it perpetuating these kind of hillbilly stereotypes, and some of it basically presenting Appalachia as this kind of Garden of Eden place uh, where people live these pre-modern lives and uh, everything's beautiful and bucolic and all that kind of stuff. A lot of the same sorts of images that you got with, with the Ozarks. And these uh, become so popular around the United States that they, they feed into Ozarks images as well because of the similarity of the, of the regions. The one book that was most responsible for helping cement some of these early 20th century images of the Ozarks was The Shepherd of the Hills by Harold Bell Wright. It was a book that was published in 1907, set in southwest Missouri. Wright was a young minister who, in an attempt to kind of regain his health, both physically and, and mentally, you might say, had, had come to southwest Missouri and lived out in uh, rural areas for a while and ended up writing this, this novel. How many of you have read The Shepherd of the Hills? Okay, we've got a couple people. I guess if you're from Branson, they make you read Shepherd of the Hills at some point. Did you read it to us one time? Did you really? Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, it's, it's definitely not 21st century literature. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's not great literature, but... Even though it wasn't great literature, it became hugely popular in the early 1900s and had, a, had an influence well beyond its, its literary worth. You could say that for sure. And uh, millions of people read the book, and many of them came to the Ozarks as tourists. We'll talk about that uh, in, a, in a later class, uh, the influence the Shepherd of the Hills had on tourism in the region. And... Uh, and it also had this influence on people's idea of the Ozarks. In The Shepherd of the Hills, there are both kind of hillbilly characters and there are these kind of uh, rustic, heroic backwoods uh, characters as well. So you get both, both sides of that, of that stereotype in there. And certainly the uh, tourism industry benefits from that, but that's a topic for a later day. The Shepherd of the Hills presented what's sometimes referred to as an Arcadian vision of the Ozarks. Arcadia, uh, the way we use Arcadian in English usually refers to a place that's kind of uh, untouched by the modern world. It's uh, a beautiful, wild place. It refers back to a region of Greece, the ancient Greece, that was supposedly uh, this way, untouched and uh, kind of this, this romantic backwoods sort of area. And that's very much the image that Harold Bell Wright had of the Ozarks was this Arcadian place where, uh, that he would have considered God's country. You know, this is, you can go there, get away from the modern world, and rejuvenate yourself spiritually, physically. Uh, and that's a, the postcard has a picture of Harold Bell Wright on it, you can see there. So again, that, that other part of the image, a more positive part of the of Ozark stereotype. And this also went hand in hand in the early 20th century with those more positive attributes of the Ozarks, the, the physical attributes. This idea of the Ozarks as a playground 
a place with beautiful hills and rivers and lakes and all that kind of stuff where people could go and kind of get away from it all. And uh, you can see just a couple of examples here. In southeastern Missouri, you've got the Arcadia Valley, which, I mean, that's, uh, it's still there. You know, there's still, uh, that's still a place that people, uh, that, that was uh, one of the earliest places where the wealthy of St. Louis came to vacation because they could ride the rail from St. Louis and be there in a couple hours in the Arcadia Valley. And that has it right there in the name, that Arcadian uh, image of the unspoiled Ozarks. And you can see all their pictures on there. In all their pictures, there's, there are no people. You know, you got ele elephant rocks and Lake uh, Killarney and whatever that is, Pilot Knob in the background down there. 